Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sports of the Day. January 12th? I think 2015. Turn that off. Sorry about that. You had to hear the first couple of uh, words, or notes, really, of I'm a Jayhawk. This is NCAA Football 2005. And where are the Oregon Ducks? There are the Oregon Ducks. They are unfortunately the away team, but Ohio State's not too far away from that. So here's Oregon. We're going to select the stadium. The stadium is... There's no Jerry World at this point, so unless SMU's playing there... Oh, Southern Miss. Oh, SMU. Hey! Mm, Gerald J. Ford Stadium. I don't know what that is. Um, so no, we won't play there. We'll just go ahead and go to... Uh, we can either do the Cotton Bowl, or... Uh, we could do the EA Sports Stadium, which is basically the same thing. There's only one school based in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't want to play in the Cotton Bowl. I don't know why I don't want to play in the Cotton Bowl. The Houston Bowl. There isn't like a Dallas... There's a Fort Worth Bowl in a... TCU Stadium. I've been there, actually. Uh, KU went in 2005. Yeah, we gotta go to the Cotton Bowl. Unfortunately. Uh, weather's just gonna be... Oh, well, I don't wanna do... I have, like, random anything bad, so let's... Temperature, maybe some wind, some rain. Well, okay, it doesn't rain that much in Texas. Maybe a little more later. It is December, so... Okay! I can either be Oregon or Ohio State. I don't like Ohio State. I don't care about Oregon. But I guess I'll be the Buckeyes. I haven't played this in forever, so I'm not sure that'll be good. Um, I'm really, really used to NCAA 03, which is the game I've been playing primarily. So we will find out when the game starts how I actually do. The presentation in 05 is a little different than in most of the other... Uh, games of the series. There's a lot of like in-game advertising, weirdly enough. Uh, there's like Pontiac, and like Pontiac's in the background right here. This is the college classics. It takes a little while to load on my old PS2. So yeah, we're gonna pretend this is the national championship. The Dallas Cowboys stadium, of course it's not. The Oregon Ducks and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. In a way, though, the Cotton Bowl is represented. But no, is it actually played in the Cotton Bowl? Does the Cotton Bowl even still exist? To be fair. Yeah, in its original form, to the Alamo Bowl. I don't remember if this is the version where you can see the uh, people actually talk. I think that's a six. So. I'm just going to go ahead and skip through this. I like to start on offense if I can, and I do, so I will. I don't know why I always like to start on offense in this game. Oregon lines this being just kind of an exhibition, We're not a trophy or anything like that, I'll do it as much as I please. This will be returnable. Number four, fields it at the two. Um, you no, no way very much. Return, well, Brad, two things here. You need to do a better job of fuck that up. Okay. But also, you need to get the ball and just attack. Look at that the overall record. <laughs> swarm all over you. That dates back to middle school, so now, sorry about that. Uh, it little, if it seems a little um, fishy, that's because it is. That's because I was a sore ass loser back in middle school. So 67 and 1, that is accurate. That is, I mean, it's not hacked or anything like that, but it just like if I was losing a game, there was a very high chance that I would. Uh, oh, wow, that was a great way to start the game. I'm kind of learning the controls here. I forget which button it is to uh, scramble. I think it's R2. It's not L1 for sure. Because L1 right there was the uh, thrown interception button. Let's see if... Nope. Okay. I used to always play this game with offsides turned off. Oregon, I might switch back to that here. just to show you what the uh, damaging effects of having offsides turned off is. 
And he's taken down. Actually, yeah, I think I will do that, if only just for one play. That's, that would be a settings thing. It's not a, it's not a strategy thing. If I turn off sides off, in a lot of games, if you turn off sides off, specifically like in a in a 2K like 2K5 or something like that, it'll just uh, make it so you can run past the line of scrimmage. Not in these games though. In these games, you turn it off, you can just run. And in 07, I perfected this strategy by. Um, I made it. Uh, well, in 07, they changed it so that the X button, you didn't even have to. Uh, like, X button didn't switch players before the uh, ball was snapped. Because, at least in this one, if I hold X, it's going to switch to another person, so I can't immediately start out by sprinting. Ball on the 34 yard line. The right side. I do wish that I was. He's in trouble. Like, okay, well that worked. Anyway, so who cares? Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback. I wish that I wasn't aware of the fact that that's fucking cheap as hell. Because that was so much fun to just like constantly go after the quarterback. They're going for a field goal right here. I wonder if you can return these. He gets it up. No. Oh, okay, one didn't get to me. I don't think you can. I've never been able to even try in these games. I feel like in the Sega Sports games, the, the EA, or the, I'm sorry, the 2K5, you could. But I'm not sure. Let's try the option. And the 2K5 is just so realistic with, like, the existence of the ball. Oh, wow, my, okay, my quarterback is slow as hell. That's funny. Number eight with a recovery. And so I'll just pitch right into the back of a, uh, of a wide receiver. A We're off to a great start. Ohio State is 15 known for that. For uh, Slow-ass quarterbacks who run the option. In their nickel Not so much in recent years. So, uh, and down he goes. Really pretty good quarterback play over the past maybe Sometimes 10 years or so. It's always Can't think. Once they had Troy Smith, they never really had a bad quarterback. The Terrell the Pryor, who's the line great, and he's a Kansas City Chief now, which I find kind of funny. Looks like someone was called oh, we got a flag on that? I hope that's not a holding. It's always a holding, so... Damn. I don't know who's Oregon coach, or who Oregon's coach was at this point. I know that Jim Tressel for Ohio State. I don't have the coach pick the play, because I'm lazy. I also don't remember the playbook. Oregon has all their DBs in for this five wide set. He drops back to pass. Looking. Okay, L1 is or L2, sorry, is scramble. And he's gonna come up with a sack. They were bringing a heavy rush on that. As previously stated, my quarterback is slow as shit. Let's see if Troy Smith is in this game. I'm sure he is. I don't know where he would have played. Or what his number would have been. Yeah, it's going to be number 10. I think that's him. I feel like that's him. I don't know if he played, if he were 10 or 1. 2006 Heisman Trophy winner, Troy Smith, who also, I believe, went undrafted. Damn, is the delay on the kick so much different than in the Xbox. With an on the Xbox. Maybe it's just the way I've been playing on HGTVs on that Xbox forever, but I want a CRT here, and it was just really responsive. Which is a good thing, but will take me some getting used to. So if I want, I can keep uh, sprinting at this invisible wall, give myself an extra boost of speed. I think I'm going to do that. I've always played 3-4, especially in the earlier in the 2005s and 04s, and around that section I've played 4-3 and a lot of other ones, but I've always played 3-4 just because I could get so many uh, outside linebackers going. I'm playing three minute quarters, which isn't bad because I have stuff to do, um, but that's how it was set beforehand. Didn't really play five. I was playing He's like eight heat. minute quarters in one game. The middle, and that one's fallen in when that was. This one will be interference, but who's was that interference? Possibly roughing the passer. Really? 
Also, before you can challenge plays, granted, you, you can't challenge the pass interference, obviously, but that brings to mind the fact that you can't uh, challenge plays in this one, so it's always going to be correct. In the Madden game this year, I believe that was the first year that you could challenge, so they would intentionally have some plays be incorrect. This, I mean, this deity of a computer system would intentionally mess up plays and if you were keen enough to have been watching and paying attention and you don't go to the instant replay you can overturn a call i don't remember if they added that in the next year they i mean college football itself may not have added that until 2005 2006 because uh, the college football has always been slow as hell to adopt something like that and they still don't you know, they still don't play uh, pay players so. That's another, just another example of how the NCAA has always been behind the curve on stuff like this. See, I'm doing this. Uh, feel free to call me any names you want. Incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. He's very sensitive. So they will punt. And they're not going to go for the 50-yard field goal again. I will return. Sometimes I do block, and I do. In 2003, I blocked a lot. In 2007, you'll see me, if I ever play 2007 on this series, uh, I will block all the fucking time. Uh, because that is just the best way to do it in that series. So the entire Oregon Ducks team will down it at the 7 yard line. And I have quite a way to go. Now we got Troy Smith. Go to work at the nine. We're free of a. Uh, or I assume it's Troy Smith. Yep. Uh, that is at least a. Oregon comes out defensively not with the same guy as before. They'll throw on first down. The correct race, and he is just gonna rocket that out into nowhere. So we're off to a great start. Ball on the nine-yard line. 30. Uh, is that Chris Wells. I don't remember anybody from the 2004. Uh, Ohio State teams, so that could be literally anybody. I know Ohio State had Chris Wells somewhere between 2004 and 2007. He cuts up the field and keeps the ball hey, so no great execution and a good decision there by the I was more into the profe in the pro game at this point in my life. I mean, I still watch the game. And I could probably tell you a lot of Big 12 players, especially KU players, but I am better at like a Madden game from this year in terms of remembering who was on which team. That was a very nice first down Granted, the game was right there. I could probably tell you more about like a. Uh, the key here is making sure the offensive Ricky line Williams gives the quarterback or plenty of time to find the open Brian receiver. Greasy or Tim Couch, or Quincy Morgan, Oregon somebody like that. In their nickel uh, Drop back to pass. So L2 is scrambled, and Trey Smith is much faster than these guys. So that's good. He juked him out of his shoe, and they make the stop. He picked up the first down on that run. Brad, Theoretically, I will get a touchdown. Ways, and he just showed one don't right there. Uh, overestimate. In this situation, you gotta trust the quarterback's decision making. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Buckeyes come out the shotgun. He's looking. This Rolling was. Ooh, oh, I forgot to pass. He's in trouble. Oh, mistake. He's he the sack. That was stupid as shit. I was about to explain something and then just forget to pass the ball when I had an open receiver. That's something I'll do. So second and 22, I take back everything I said about I'm probably going to score on this drive. But don't be, uh, I will show, this is the matchup stick. Uh, so if I want to find out who's good and who's brattled, I can go look on the left side of the field and I have a good player against a mediocre player over there. And I have uh, a composed wide right receiver on my right side of the screen who is um, going to snap the ball before. So if I go up one-on-one -on -one in single coverage, generally my wide receiver can beat that guy. He didn't that time, uh, because he any variety of reasons. You know what? Let's go ahead and just... How is my quarterback already tired? I don't know. Let's fuck with their brains. We're going to do a, a halfback pass here on third and 22. Ohio State lines up with three receivers. They get it out there on the toss. Down the middle. Go okay, well, I didn't work it off. So they try some trickery there. Granted, I'm not surprised. I could punt. I could do the spread fake run. 
I've had so much luck with fake punts. I did the stupidest thing uh, in a dynasty. Looks like they're going to I subbed in my running here. back as the holder in a uh, like in a field goal situation. And again, I do that thing where I, I generally tap it beforehand because I'm so used to playing on HD TVs and there's just that little bit of delay. So we're probably going to get a halftime score though, unless Oregon does something or I get an interception here. A fumble. One man backfield. What was I saying? He drops back. Oh yeah, I've started putting a like a just a halfback in as my holder on the depth chart. Oh, he's lucky turn off. And I'll do the fake the fake field goal with the run, and they just outrun everybody. And I was like, what if my backup quarterback so was a good one? And I did that one time, a long time ago, probably in junior high school, I did that. And I just substituted it in a uh, quarterback who's really good at running. And it works, like, all the time. I've played this shit my entire life. And I know way too much. And I've played way too much, and I have way too much experience with this shit. I tried from memory writing down the number of dynasties that I've played. I know I've played full, at least full seasons in 2002, 2003. I've probably played at least 10 or 11 times over, uh, and that dates back to when I was in the second grade. Uh, 2004, I know I've played at least one full season. Uh, for like a thing I did at camp, I think it was 2013. And I, again, again, I actually played this game a lot. 2004, I played back when it came out. Uh, this game, I played full season in middle when it came out, and then I played a shitload of it in middle school for some reason. Oh, 06, I played a season when it came out, and then I back in the beginning of high school because I found a copy of it, and I was like, oh, this is fun, and it turned out to be really good. Oh, 07, I played in middle school. Um, that would have been around when it came out, and it was just the last uh, football game I bought. Oh, 08, I was just curious because I wanted to play the 2007 Kansas team was went to, like, the... Uh, Orange Bowl. Damn it, I did it again. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. I'll never fix that. And hopefully Brady I never let myself uh, the goal get line. And now a slight break in the action. Right, uh, the so I, I just out of curiosity field, so played a full season there. with them and did not win the championship even though I went undefeated. Played in the Fiesta Bowl against a young uh, quarterback number 15 for the Florida Gators. The Ducks come out the shotgun. Across the middle, batted ball. The ball is knocked to the ground. Nine I never played, it was a ten I never played. Eleven I bought around launch. I think I bought that a month after it came out. Twelve I bought on launch day. Thirteen I bought on launch day. Fourteen I bought on uh, at least the weekend of that launch day. So it's second and ten. Ball of the twenty-two. I remember thirteen I definitely bought on launch day because uh, I was working at camp and it came out uh, on a day that I had off. So maybe it was the day after launch. Drops back to pass. Wednesdays off. Throws it to the outside. Game game to come down on Tuesdays. Fantastic play by the cornerback. It was a solid play. I like how they have uh, fans in this game, and I think I had. I think I did create some signs. Most people I knew were like, oh, what if I put swear words on the sign? And I was just like, well, if they're going to show it, I might as well put something funny on it. And he dropped it. My defense is just too good for this team. I don't think they've had a first down yet. Or at least I haven't had many. This punt should be a returnable no surprise one. Here uh, they prepare to punt it away. I'm off to recover. Number 36 gets it off. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Number four takes it to 36. Kind of. Spinning. Okay. So that almost and now worked. A slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Okay, here's the halfback pass. I want take to over at the we'll do it right after we did another halfback pass because nobody expects two halfback passes in a while. You can say like, oh, maybe we'll do a halfback pass, half pass, but how about two in a row? Never. No throw to their quarterback, and that one even get close. You gotta be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge Ask game the coach or a turtle. I don't they were lucky care. It was only incomplete. Do I score a touchdown by the end of this game? The age-old question. Back to pass. Look. Now he's scrambling. Scrambling. He's got a Pop pass. Incomplete pass. Pulling a Nick and Marshall the there. Couldn't drag a foot. Against yeah, Alabama, and that really was nice not even a completed pass. Can't I challenge? Again, this is me being curious. We have to campus challenge. Um. No, I don't think I can. 
there would be a place I could click if I wanted to. Turn down a tent coming up. If I was Ball allowed to, and I can't. So let's the Buckeyes have just five receivers on this play. Find the open man. Go he ahead and damn right it. He's looking. He's or I can go left. ahead and he's uh, Troy Smith. Looks like he's going to run. And, and not even down. Down. The quarterback trying to make At this point, we want to hurry up because I don't want to leave you with me not scoring a touchdown, or at least I'd like to say that. Do we have a passing play I can audible to? Yes, we do. Oh, that's Morgan actually not a bad pass to use audible to. Now will he throw or scramble some for the first? Now he tries Somebody to buy some open, time. And I can just he might have a chance. Okay. And they make the stop. What a play on fourth down. Anytime you can convert on fourth down, you're happy. But here, not only do they get the first, but they come away with a good pickup. Yeah, not bad for a design pass play. I think around the edge of this game. Now I don't want to run again. You pass, then you play called in and out, nice which is game. fitting for Oregon. I'm also fitting for Dallas, because there is one in Dallas. There's my friend from Dallas sometimes. Apparently, Whataburger is better, though. I've never been there. I'm from Kansas, but there's only one Whataburger in Kansas. Uh, however, I do still have to sit through whenever the Big 12 championship. I wonder if people from Iowa have the same request. I mean, West Virginia's got to be completely out of the loop here. And you gotta sit through the Big 12 like championship basketball tournament, and you just see Whataburger after Whataburger after Whataburger ad. I'm just like, I, I have no reference for this. That, that stops literally in Wichita, and the two Kansas schools are so much further north of them that it's just like we don't even get Whataburger. And people from other areas of the country, even other like Texans and Oklahomans. Dropped pass, hitting me again. 2005 was often criticized for having more uh, dropped passes, oddly enough. I need to remember on this 50 yard field goal attempt that there's no delay. Uh, the wind is at my back, 13 miles, that's nothing to sneeze at. And, uh, okay, let's see. Do we get it? And, and we do. It is three to zero, ladies and gentlemen, in the national championship game done in 2004, or in NCAA 2004, should I say? Ohio State is ready to kick it away. We're off to a rousing start with one minute here in the third quarter, which is damn it, I did it again. Oh, this is just great. I love this game. I would it lose and destroy my impeccable 63 to 1 record. <laughs> oh my god, did me at fucking 14 have just no idea how pathetic that would look when I'm 19 and playing this game again? No, oh, damn fake pitch. I would have destroyed that running back, but he got me on the hesitation. That was a smart play there. The quarterback isn't yet to throw a completion. Oh my god, see, I want to see it. Oh, please, at least let this be on varsity. I never checked that. Oh, okay, fucking thank god. If it was on junior varsity, as I feel like I had changed that at some point. I was like, I'm playing a junior varsity. Don't give it off here. Like, I'm going to look back at this in 10 Tackle. years and think, or not 10, yards, five years and think, up. like, this is, this is ridiculous. Like, one rushing yard from, <laughs> for Oregon. God, is it, it's, it, it's kind of pathetic that I'm playing this game in general, but I know people who, who still play old games. I have friends who still play older NCAA ad adaptations or editions or whatever word I'm trying to say here. Okay, Oregon got a first down. That's good for them. Good for them. I think they caught the defense a little off guard. God damn, I just cannot believe. <laughs> 63 and one. And I remember what that one loss is to be even more pathetic. That was to USC in the national title game. Throw on first down. Under pressure. He's going right. They'll bring him down. How about that reception, Lee? Oh, a good man. throw, plus a nice catch. Did I just take that long? Because generally I would just turn my yards. PS2 That's off exactly what in the event of I was going to lose the game. Uh, I remember one game where I was losing by so many. I was losing by like 20, 20 points. I was like, no, I'm going to win this one. And I activated like the timeout on every play sheet. 
and it totally worked, and I came back at the end of the game. All right, so three to zero, or it was like unlimited timeouts, so I could call a timeout on any play I wanted. Second and twelve coming up here. There was also a cheat, which I thought was weird. If it was, if somebody's players got, I think it was, if you injured the other team's players, you would gain like three points per injury. Over the middle, which is kind of messed up. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much. Blitzing here has been an excellent strategy. Typically, I lay off on third down, but it has not failed me yet. The defense will try to stop rush. this third down as they were uh, unsuccessful four. the first time on this drive. Back to pass. Watch the throw outside. Oh, got oh, him. damn. Oh, they got the first down. They convert on third and long. Shit. Guys. Well, the offense right, coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, Unless I want to win this game by three points. A spot, and the receiver was there to catch it. If they score here. Nice play. They get out there on the top. And point. they hit him in the backfield. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get. If they score here, I'm basically fucked. Because I don't have fewer than two minutes. And I remember when I played this game, the only way teams would ever beat me was because I had I was always blitzing. The blitzing works so well in just every college game because they factor in the fact that these kids are like 18 in some cases and are like seeing these hulking 200-pound men running at them. So the only way they would ever score on me is that they would get one-on-one -on -one coverage and somebody would beat my guy and I would try to either jump and intercept it. Oh, there we go. So I bit both on the play action and I also went for the quarterback at the same time. That's the rare sweet spot that you sometimes get. There was a point where, oh, they can tie it up here. There was a point when I was so confident in the blitz that, like, I, I stopped falling for play actions, and I would just go for the quarterback anyway, and I was just like, well, if they get past my offensive line, then shit, but, you know, I'm still going to go for the quarterback, and I would get so many, like, unnecessary roughness penalties for that. Oh, damn, that went wide left. That would have been good. Had it gone down the center. Even his girlfriend will like him tonight. Uh, I guess it would be smart to do one more number 30, alone I'd like to score a touchdown at some point in my life. They're going 4-3 on the right. defense. Uh, back. Oh, pitch Brought down. in traffic. Oregon takes but a I'm confident enough that I can do that. I suppose I think it's going to be good. They have that option where you can like to choose to pump up one part of your team. But it never makes a difference, so it doesn't really matter. One man backfield. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll wrestle him down. Well, he's sniffed that one right out. That's why it's time to go for the back pass. On the backfield. Uh, yes, to the triple option. To the center. All on their own 46. They line up in an 0 for 4 on third down. Shit. It changes now. Run the option. And now he pitches it. Yep. Tackle. Okay, there we go. And the option play works for good yarding. Yeah, that was I don't know if they call a timeout or not. I just expecting to run the ball out or something like that. Damn, that linesman is just having a rough day. He dropped his thing and then tripped over it. I do toss week. I keep thinking like the audio on my TV is off. Uh, because I only have one splitter and it has to be plugged into my cap this is his receiver. ACRT uh, so I keep thinking I'm hearing like some very play. faint like muted audio but it is just my PS2's guts Oregon. just going right at it it's not the loudest console of all time uh, that title would either go to the Sega Dreamcast or the Xbox 360 but I feel like it's the Sega Dreamcast, because the Sega Dreamcast, when it, like, whenever you would make a decision, you could just feel, like, in your bones that the Dreamcast was, like, just dying So, third and six. Shit. What are we going to do? Half-back pass. <coughs> no. 
I had one instance of a halfback pass working, and it was in a game of Madden 2003, and I think it is immortalized on the first ever Sunday update, which later became a Monday update. And it's like a Curtis Martin, and I didn't know that it was a preseason game. And I pitched the ball to Curtis Martin, and he throws, and it's a touchdown, and I win the game in overtime on a halfback pass. And it was one of the most fun games I ever played against the AI. That was just how I won the game. Oh, damn, guy lost his sign, but I skipped the, uh, skipped the thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. After this, I will show what signs I made, assuming that it saved the signs I made, and I hope it did. Okay, I'll run out of bounds. That's the best thing you can do in a situation like that. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. The white screw in this game is just like the fucking three stooges. I forget they added all of that slapstick humor. How about I do the same play but the other direction? And then theoretically fourth and shot. Who would guess? Okay, well that didn't work at all. Here's the option. They'll drop him for a loss. I can either they run out the, the clock. Yeah, I think here. that's fitting. I'm just going to let the clock run out. Yeah, look at this count down these the last five seconds to say that my prediction for tonight's game, Ohio State, high-powered offense, three points. O Oregon, also a high-powered offense. You know, Ohio State's more of a run team. Not that o Oregon can't run. I think they have one of the best running quarterbacks in the history of the game in the Marcus Mariota. I don't know who I'd compare There's him to. That's the thing. So far, like, I've heard people compare him to Michael Vick, and I think that's not too far from the truth. Uh, he's, he's got that kind of speed and that kind of arm. Uh, in all fairness, I would take Oregon probably, we'll say, 42 to 38. And our final Eight. score in this one, Ohio State. Maybe 42 to 45. Oregon, Ohio this State. Is Brad Nessler for Lee Let's go with that. Ohio State, 42 to 45. They're a better running team. Oregon doesn't have really the defense that they would need to stop the run. Granted, they got Mariota on the side of Oregon. They got Cardale Jones on Ohio State side, a third string player, but he's doing fucking great. They got uh, somebody else that I can't even think of. They got a bunch of guys on that team. Very good. That uh, Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel Elliott. That guy is fucking good as hell. Uh, my record will improve to 64 and one. I wonder if I can view my profile just to see if I can look at my uh, EA Sports bio, possibly. <laughs> they did play some EA Sports games on this. This is just a little added segment of Sports of the Day called uh, Internet Anthropology or whatever. Let's look at my EA Sports bio. EA Sports Bio was something they tried to do where you could buy, like, if you bought NCAA and Madden and NBA Live. Oh, shit. Oh, I just have one game? I know I have NBA Live 05, though. Maybe it was profile 4 then. Um, it must just be what's on my memory card. Because, like, all of my, my uh, trophies and stuff are still in this. What's this? Some memory card. Oh, huh. Place profile four. I don't know why I have four profiles. Maybe I need to load my. Uh... I feel like it was with two where I played my greatest games. Nope. Maybe it was a different memory card, or I say I transferred everything from a different memory card. I don't know what the profile even does. I feel like... I don't even remember. Nah. Okay. Anyway, I wonder if it'll show my, my pennant collection, which is... Oh, wait. Because I, th I think it was three where I played basically every game. Yeah. 358 out of 396 pennants. That's like 19 out of 20 of the college classics. And I know what the one I haven't done is. And that was uh, the SMU-BYU game. The Jim McMahon game. The mascot teams are surprisingly lacking. 44-48 all time. All of the stadiums. 30 of the 31 cheats. 190 of the 197 the useless fucking team boosts that don't even do anything. Uh, 
Uh, what else was I going to look? Oh shit, this happens sometimes. Uh, the helmets get all weird. I don't know why. I had something I wanted to do. Look at my Facebook. I did that. That's right. The create a sign mode. Uh, yes. Here we go. This is for generic. Passing touchdown. It'll, you know, just get the message out. Oh, that was a fucking YouTubepoop.com in joke. <laughs> move uh, the default text was move those chains first down. Uh, was, oh, remind you, I was in middle school. <laughs> Simple but elegant. Uh, yeah, it was funny at that time. Another YouTube poop joke, and yeah. Ah, uh, just delightful. Just unbelievable, I don't think. I don't think I created any schools. This wasn't the game where I did that. I did that in 03 all the time. I had a bunch of them, and I had like a separate history, or I had a thing where I inserted all of these just randomly throughout, uh, based upon an in-joke between me and my friend. Uh, okay, a fake thing. Uh, with that, I think I'm good. That's the end of Sports of the Day for today. Thank you very much for watching, and go Ducks!